Lisa Cole, the math lady. Today we're talking about the fractional part of a number, part two. Okay, so you might remember that in a previous lesson we talked about translating these fractional parts of numbers. And that's what we're going to do more of today. So we learned a few things, and let's see if we can apply them. So here's a problem. What fraction of 72 is 45? Okay, so let's just start with what fraction. Before we were asking what number, and we had that capital W with a small n down in the corner. Since we're asking for fraction, Saxon wants us to do what, and with a little f down in the corner, what fraction, to say that we're looking for a fraction. Okay, so that's how that translates. What fraction of, we know that of translates in math to a multiplication sign. Okay, and let's see, let's do this. What fraction of 72, well that's already a numeric phrase, so just leave that as it is. And then is in math translates to an equal sign. And we end it with a 45. So our statement is, there we go, blink. What fraction times 72 equals 45? And now it's just a missing number statement. We know a missing number statement, we need to divide to get that number. So we're gonna divide 72 from both sides. We are left with what fraction equals 45 over 72? And all we have to do now is simplify this. So what number goes into 45 and 72? That's the number nine. Nine goes into 45 five times, and nine goes into 72 eight times. So our answer for what fraction is 5 eighths. What if we wanted to know what decimal of 72 is 45? So same numbers, but instead of asking for a fraction, we're asking for a decimal. Well, looks very similar. So instead of writing WF for what fraction, we're going to write WD for what decimal. Okay. Oh, I tried to write an equal sign. I did that too soon. Why? Because it says what decimal of. We know of means multiply. And then we can put our 72 in is 45. So that's our statement. What decimal times 72 equals 45? This is a missing number in multiplication, so we divide to find the answer. Okay, so here's what it looks like. What decimal equals 45 over 72? Just as we had, let's continue to simplify it. Remember, we divided both of these by 9, and we got 5 eighths. But we're looking for a decimal. Well, how do we get a decimal from a fraction? We divide. That's right. So let's do our division over to the side. 8 into 5, and I'm going to go ahead and add my decimal and add a 0. Let's do it. 8 can't go into 5, but it can go into 50. Uh, let's see, 8 times 6 is 48. 2 is left over, and I bring my 0 down. 8 goes into 20 2 times, which is 16. 4 is left over, I add a 0. 8 goes into 40 5 times. I know it's really close here, but I'm going to go ahead and circle it. So here we turned our 5 eighths into a decimal. So that's how you do it. You still go ahead and find your fraction, but then you turn your fraction into a decimal. 0 0.625 is our answer. What if our sentence is written a little bit differently? Does it still work the same? Here we have two-fifths of what number is 60? Well, let's translate. Two-fifths of what number is 60. Okay, so we have a fraction, we're looking for the number, and then we have equals 60. So this is a missing number in multiplication. To get to our missing number, we have to multiply both sides of the equation by the reciprocal, which is the same thing as dividing by two-fifths, multiplying by the reciprocal. So I'm going to do it in red so you can see. I'm going to multiply this side by 5 over 2. And I'm going to multiply this side by 5 over 2. And what happens on this side? Well, the 5 and the 5 cross out, the 2 and the 2 cross out. We are just left with what number? 
And on this side, the 2 and the 30 can cross out, which leaves 10, 2 and the 60, which leaves me with 30. And then 30 times 5 is 150. So our what number or our answer, 2 fifths of 150 is 60. Now what if they had just asked the same thing, but changed this 2 fifths to a decimal? Well, 2 fifths happens to be, so I'm going to just erase this, but I'm going to change it to a decimal. Okay, 2 fifths is the same thing as saying, point four, right? Because two fifths is the same thing as dividing and that would give us point four. So same thing. Okay, so we're asking now instead of a fraction, we have a decimal. Let's translate. Point four of what number equals 60? So we've translated. Now to find our what number, we have a missing number in multiplication. So we need to divide both sides by this point 4. So I'm going to do it in red so you can see it. We're going to divide this side by point 4 and this side. Oops, I got an extra zero in there. Zero, point 4. So dividing both sides by point 4. Well, what happens over here? This whole thing crosses out and I'm left with my WN, my what number? And here, I have to do a division problem. I have 60 divided by 0.4. So I have a decimal uh, as my divisor. And that looks like this. Let's do it in black first. 0 0.4 into 60. Now you know we have to move this decimal. We have to clear our decimal by moving it over one space. We've got to do the same thing here. Our decimal is here, so we're going to move it over one space and then put it into our quotient. Now we can do our division. 4 goes into 6 one time. 4 goes into 20 five times. 4 goes into 0, 0 times. So we got the same answer we got before, which was 150, but this time we used a decimal instead of a fraction. So again, these problems are all about translation. If you can translate appropriately, you can do the problem. So make sure you try the practice problems to see if, how your translations are working, okay? All right, I'll talk to you next time. It's the Golden Math Lady. See you later. Bye.